All right, so we are going to start just by swinging your right arm back. Chest is forward, feet are together. Good, four, three, two, one. Left arm swing, circle back. Four, three, two, one. Really opening up that shoulder. Now right arm forward. Four, three, two, one. Hold on to that wrist and then lean forward as you're pulling that wrist forward, giving yourself that low back, side body stretch. And release. Other side forward. Left arm circles forward. Four, three, two, one. Hold on to that wrist and reach, kind of tug gently, pulling it, really pulling up that low back, giving it that space. Yes, good. Now we're just gonna step. We're gonna go step front, bring that knee up, back, back, two steps, step opposite side. So this is the movement. Just nice and easy, just getting your body to move. You can add the elbow, bring it front, next to your knee. Really drive that knee up, good. Elbow comes down, just gently, yes. But warming that body up. Ooh, somebody said something, is the sound working? Yes, thumbs up, thank you, yay. <laughs> And so I'm up on my toes when I step back, flat foot when I'm driving that knee up. Good. Finding my balance. This is the time that you want to check in with your body. Are you sore in the hips? Are you sore in your glutes? You can also take a second to stretch before class. Good. Now we're going to take it to our left. So we're going to step, step behind. Step again, and you're gonna lift your right knee and toes back. Step behind, step, lift, good. Arms, we're just doing one on each side right now. We will add the double soon. So step behind, bring those toes behind your back leg. When you lift up into your passe, good. And I'm pressing my arms Back, really opening up that sternum chest. Yes, drive that thigh, that quad up, and try to get your toes to touch the back of your leg. Good, up, and double, yes. I wish I had more room. One day, we'll have our own Maison Gobum stretch space designated for us. Yes, back, back, up, up. So you're bending when you're stepping and when you're transitioning to the side. And then when you're bringing up that passe, leg is fully straight, extended. Yes, lift, back arms, lift. Yes, hop, hop. So you're coming from that bent, lift, bend, lift. Yes, toes coming to the back of that thigh. Ha, ha. Yes, squeeze up and squeeze, lift. Last two. Yes, ha, ha. Good, now we're gonna take that chair and we're gonna do some squats. So just put the chair right in front of you and I want you to have your feet hip distance apart. And so we're gonna squat. So bring your hips in line with those knees when you bring them down, yes. And then we're gonna kick back with your right leg first. So you're gonna kick and then back in line, squat, opposite side, kick. Stretching those hip flexors. And I want you to use that chair for balance, for stabilizing. Press your palm into it. You can even lower your chest slightly when you kick back. Good. Here we go. And you can add, if 
you wanted to, you can add one arm lifting, opposite arm, opposite leg kick. Yes. Stretch. Really stretching those back hip flexors. Keep that leg when you kick it back. Very straight. Good. Yes. Lower and lift. Power it up. Yes. Down, up. Point those toes. Extend. So when I say point those toes, you can just extend your heel, ankle, so that it creates a nice long line. If those toes don't curl, that's fine. I just want to see those ankles elongated. Lower lift. Yes. Come on. You got this. Stay with me. We're in this together. I've always learned whenever I'm doing something challenging, I'm doing it with a team, people I trust. Just makes the time go faster. And I get through it way with much more pleasure. <laughs> Good. Lifting through that navel. Yes. All right. We're coming into our flat back here. So open those legs and toes are still facing forward. I'm going to move this camera down. Okay. And I'm going to show it to the other side. So nice flat backs. Giving yourself that stretch in those backs of the legs and your back. So legs are totally. Uh, wider than your hip distance and those heels come down. Now you can either use the seat of your chair or the back of your chair. So right now fully engage everything. Pull in that navel. That's fine. Nice and long. Press those hips back and you're just going to lift the shoulders and then press that head through and breathe. Lift, lower, lift, lower just slightly, just warming it up. And then we'll make that movement a little bit bigger. We'll mimic the cat-cow just here standing. Really lift those kneecaps, straighten those knees, send those hips back, and booty, think of pressing it up towards the ceiling. Yes, lower. Now I want you to do a full cat-cow lift. And then lower, contract it up, pull everything in, lower, good, and again, lift, contract, and cat, and really extend those arms nice and straight, engage those shoulders. Now from here, I want you to pull, so your elbows are going to come down, don't let them flare out, pull the chest forward, chest, 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 good, push it back. And then cat to the round back, lower the chin, and then lift and pull. Working on some spinal waves. Yes. Arms straight here. Bend to pull your chest forward. Push back, fully straight. Yes. And up. Good. Beautiful work. Good, good. I feel this in the backs of my legs too. I'm coming flat when I'm pulling through and then I lift those heels off the floor. Tuck that pelvis down and round back. Good. All right. Now you can just try test here. Take one hand off, second hand or just one and hold, hold, pull that navel in, open up that sternum chest. Hold here for 10 seconds. Good, good. 10, 9, 8, switch hands if you want. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful work. Okay, taking that right leg. So you're turning your left leg out, lifting up. Really find that line, knee over ankle. And you're just going to now turn the extended leg, your right leg, slightly in. 
We're gonna lift for two, and on the third, you're gonna melt it in, turning it in knee to knee, and then turn it out, and then a nice big kick with that hip turned out. Turn it back in. One, two, third one, melt it down, and kick. Beautiful, and now turn it in with purpose. Two, lift, melt, kick, turn it up. Good, now in, in, into the melt. Melt, open, kick, turn it up, good. I really want you to start differentiating and feeling. So we're working those outside hips when we're turning it in, and then we're working those inner thighs when we're turning it out. Good, lift, turn it in, two, and melt. Slow it down and sharp. Good. And come on, lift it. Lift, melt. Open up. Good. Try to keep that knee totally, totally straight. Lift, lift, lower melt, and push it up. Good. Stay with me. You've got this. Now melt in. Ooh, that feels good. Slowing it down. Good. Sometimes that's all it takes to understand something in our body. It just requires dissecting it a little bit, taking it apart, and slowing down. I love doing everything slowly with purpose, methodically. Yes, staying in line. Hips over knee. Yes. Good. Other side. Bring that leg together. So you're turning your right knee, right toes, ankles out. And we're taking that left leg out. So you're going to turn it in. Let's do it this way. Good. So you're going to turn it in. And we're lifting. Beautiful. Melt. And kick. Turning that out. Now in. To lift for two. Beautiful. Hold and melt. Open. Press that hip open. Now turn it in. Good. And lift. And lift. Really working those obliques. Those outer hips. Lift. And lower. Melt. Melt open, turning that hip out. Yes, so turning it in. And then last one, hold to melt. And that last one, turning in. We're not the last one in this whole series. No, no, no. Turn it in, good. Press into that chair. You might start feeling a little bit of that shakiness. That's okay, just as long as there's no pinching. And lower melt, turn it in. Turn that knee out to kick it up. Good. Really opening up those hips, stretching that pelvic girdle and melt it. Open, stretch. Yes. Lower and lift with the leg turned in, melts the knee, bending it, bending it straight. Yes. Good. Three, melt. Yes, and lift. Come on. Beautiful, lower, bend, and open. Again. And melt. And open, kick. Good, last one. Lift, make these count. Lift. Even take a breath at the top. Melt, melt, yes, good. Now we're coming into our grand plie. So feet, heels together, toes out, and squeeze. Come, so, so go from a small bend, a demi plie, bend, 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 and straight, straight, straight. Everything from that inner thighs, back legs, glutes reaching up. Breathe, pull that navel back. Release the tailbone slightly down, not too much and not too much arch, good. Just in the middle, and really squeeze here. 
Now I'm gonna take it down. So melt, bending those knees slowly, and then stop bending when you can't lift those heels. When you can't bend anymore the heels, then you lift the heels up, and then you slowly lower. Good. Feel this opening of the hips here. Just take five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna come up a little bit, and we're gonna pulse. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, really squeeze the back of the legs, two, one, come up a little bit more, and again, 10, press down, and lift up from the balls of the feet, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, squeeze, 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 two, good, one, lift everything up, squeeze, right around here, wrapping behind your hips. Good, now find, try and see if you can find your balance. You take one arm off, squeeze, lifting those heels, breathe. If you want, you can try closing your eyes. <laughs> Such a good test. Good, and then slowly, slowly release those heels down. That's it, beautiful work. All right, from here, we're taking your right leg back. So we're gonna turn, keep those toes turned up and I want you to draw that line in the back of your leg. So left, right leg is coming back all the way up and then you're gonna extend it back and we're gonna lift for five here. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back to passe, turning that hip and knee out, 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 out. Good, take it back. This is where we're living. Five, four, three, two, one. Pay attention to that standing leg. Are you keeping that kneecap lifted and engaged? Keeping that quad engaged? Five, four, three, two, one. And if you need, you can come, bring your hands to the seat of the chair instead of the back of the chair. Take it back, extend it fully straight. Five, four, three, two, one. Take it, passe. Now we're gonna add a port de bras. So you're gonna lean your opposite arm, your left arm into your right side. Good, take it back. Leg extends all the way. Five, four, three, two, one. Passe. Stretch out that side body. Reach, 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 reach. Breathe. Take it back up. And leg comes back. Five, four, three, two, one. Come to your passe. Yes, reach, stretch. Take it back. Good, last one. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now you're gonna step back. You're gonna use the assisted with the chair coming into your pyramid pose. So hips, hip points facing forward. Try and find that balance in your hips. Okay, so here we are. I just want you to get this stretch here in the backs of the legs. Try and pull the navel up. Try and find your balance if you can hold yourself. Hold your body in line. If not, use the chair. Try one arm at a time. Good. Hold, hold, hold. Beautiful work. Now I want you to step that back leg so your right leg is stepping back to a low lunge. And you're either going to stay here and bring your hands all the way up. This is the harder version. And then you're going to bend the knees. So we're going to do that for 10. Or you're staying here, hands are on the floor or on blocks. And you're going to bend and extend and really squeeze that back glute. All right, here we go. Let's get started. So find your position, find your balance. Bend, just hover that knee, 10. Anchor your left hip back. Good, extend that hip flexor. Five, squeeze. Four, three, two, one. Let one more for good measure, good. Reach those hands to the floor. Send your hips up, flex that front 
front leg. Good. Give yourself a stretch. So just slightly bend those elbows toward the floor and then extend the chest out. Feel that the back upper hamstring. Beautiful. Lower down. Good. Now from here, you're going to take your hands on the inside of your leg and you're going to send your left leg all the way back for a three legged dog. And you're going to pulse 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. You're going to come into a plank with one leg or two or come onto your knees. That's up to you. From here, if you're on your knees, if you're on one knee, you're going to be bringing that left leg up. Otherwise, you're in a plank. Here we go. For 10, 9, elbows and shoulders in line with those wrists. Keep the navel lifted. Lengthen that booty back. Yes. Send the flesh of your body down towards your heels. Three, two, one. Good job. Lower down. Yes. Give yourself a little stretch. This nice up dog. Breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay. From here, you're going to turn onto your right side, giving yourself a side body stretch. You can either come all the way up, but I want you to keep that shoulder away from that ear. And if that's too hard, come down onto your elbow. This is the sequence. So you're turning that upper leg out. You're coming into a passe, to as far as you can go with the toes touching. And then you're going to lift the knee, taking the toes off, push that chest forward, extend it out, and then you're going to squeeze in front, squeeze in the behind, on out here, and then pulse lift, take the knee off, the toes, pulse it in, lower squeeze, in front, squeeze behind, take it back to neutral, drawing that line all the way up, knee pushes up. Extend, pulse. Good. Squeeze in front, squeeze behind, and if you want a deeper stretch, you're all the way up here. Just a little bit harder to keep that hip turned up. Good. And, and lift it up. Yes. Take the knee off. Extend. Release in front to squeeze, behind squeeze. Come back down. Keep that body lifted. Try not to dump your weight into your shoulders. Good. Lower squeeze. Squeeze. And come all the way up. Lift the knee. Extend the leg. Squeeze. Squeeze. And up. And lift. Extend. Pulse it. One. Two. Beautiful. Up. Extend. Pulse. Yes. Just getting a little extra of that active stretch at the end of the movement here. Extend it out and one pulse. Good. The last one here. Lift. Knee comes all the way in and extend that leg out. Pulse. Yes. Squeeze front, squeeze behind. Now from here, your passe, you're going to keep it bent. You're going to lower onto your belly. And if you can, I want you to hike that knee up slightly. Good. Hands are slightly in front of your face, and you're going to push down to up. Good. Giving yourself a nice stretch, opening up these hips. That hip flexor behind you. And then working that chest, opening up the sternum, chest, low back, elongating that spine. For five, for four, for three, for two, good, and one. Now, you're going to lower down. You're going to take that leg behind you. Breathe. Yes, we're going to lift one leg to your, your left leg, opposite arm. Right arm lifts, left leg lifts back. For ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, squeeze it at the top, three, two, and one, good. Now lower, and we're just 
going to lift both legs up. Up and lower. Up. Good. For 10. Squeeze. Squeeze those glutes at the top. Yes. Eight. Extend the legs totally, fully, fully straight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. And two. And one. We're going to hold. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Beautiful work. Now, from here, you can either take the modification and just lift one arm and switch. Or you can try both hands behind the head, behind your ears, and just lift and lower. Lift, really strengthening that lower back, that entire back. Good. And 10, 9, 8, 7, lower with control, 6, breathe, 5, come on, 4, Three, last two, two, and one. Beautiful job. Release those elbows to the side. Take them all the way back. Hands, interlace those hands, and just pulse for five. Let your wrists come towards those shoulder blades. Shoulder blades reach back. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Really, that's counteracting. All that slouching we do from being on our phones and our devices and our computers and driving. <sighs> Good. Now we're coming back up. We're going to do everything on the other side. Just give yourself a nice stretch here, extending that low back. Beautiful work. And roll everything back up. Now we're coming up to the other side and starting with our grand pliés, but we're coming in a second position. So instead of the first, we're gonna widen that stance. Still, your heels are facing each other, toes are facing out. And again, find that balance, extend. Don't, don't fully uh, hyperextend your knees if you have a hyperextension. Keep a small bend in that knee. And then we're gonna lower the hips as far down as you can. You've got your chair for balance, good. Oh yeah, you can wiggle side to side, or we're gonna just take a little pulse for five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna come up a slightly and sink for 10, nine, squeeze, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to bring it up a little bit more. Not all the way. Here we go. Bring those heels off the floor. Yes. And force that arch. Now we're going to pulse. For 10, for 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Find your balance. Hold. And then try to straighten up, up, up. Straighten those legs. Keep those heels lifted. Really good work. And squeeze the backs of those legs. Then you're gonna slowly, slowly lower those heels. Good, heel toe those legs together. We're going into the other side. So you're taking your left leg back. Do I have room? Yes. <laughs> All right, so you're in your first position here. You're gonna draw everything, all that energy up, but keeping the balls and heels and your feet grounded, but the mid arches are lifted. All right, so you're coming in, extending that toes, your left toes pointed, and you're gonna bring them all the way back up to back into that nice, long, extended leg. And we're gonna pulse five, four, three, two, one, keep that knee turned out and keep it lifted as you bring the toes back to the back of your standing leg. Take it back all the way. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep
Keep that knee lifted. Lift, 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 lift. Good. And take it back. And if you need to come down for this, then come down. Five, four, three, two, one. Each side is different. Sometimes that left leg is dominant in the back, and then the right leg is dominant in the front. Depends what your body's routine and you, what you're used to. Activity level. Good. Take that knee. Take it back, back, back. And extend it out. Good. Lift for five, four, three, two, one. Really targeting those glutes. Yes. Keeping that standing leg tall. Turn that knee out. So much to think about. Navel lifted. Widen that collarbone. Extend, lengthen the spine. Yes. Up, 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 up. Good. Now we're going to take that stretch. Oh, over. Yes. Into your left. Hinging over to your left side. Back leg extends it all the way. Pulse five, four, three, two, one. And come to your passe. Quarter bra over to your left side, stretching that right side body. Woo! Lift, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the body up as the leg comes back in. And reach, 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 reach. Good. Back, lift it, five, four, three, two, one. And press the body up as the leg comes to the side. And lift through the spine to reach over. Good. Last one here. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift that knee, bend it. Yes. And reach, 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 reach. Yes. Beautiful work. Now you just step that leg behind. We're going to come into a pyramid stretch here. So extend that chest, nice flat back. You can push that chair away, but your palms are still on the back of the chair. And I want you to just stagger those legs slightly. If you're having trouble balancing, it's easier to balance than if your heel is directly in front of those toes, keeping it in that one line. Good. And now you can try one arm, taking that off the chair, seeing where your balance is. I really feel this in my front leg. And then the other side, take it off, pull the navel in, engage through the quad, those are hip flexors, the low abdominal wall here. Good, now try if you can to find your strength. If not, then keep those hands on the chair. Beautiful. Now release that chest down. And we're going to step back into a low lunge. And again, your modification is you're either staying here, you can bring your hands on blocks, and you're going to bend that back knee and then extend and squeeze the back glute, extending those hip flexors. Or you can even bring your hands on the front knee and bend and here. Or you're all the way up here. All right, here we go. For 10, bend, extend, and squeeze. Good. Now anchoring that back right hip. Send it back. Your front left hip, send it forward and extend those hip flexors. Good. Yes, knee, front knee is in line with your ankle, not over those toes. Good. Three, two, and one. Awesome, awesome job. Send that chest forward. Step forward for another pyramid stretch. And just flex that front foot. Good. Keep the stretch. Kind of relax into it. Try to let your muscles relax here. Don't tighten. We're just holding the stretch to try and feel a little bit of a more of a deeper stretch. All right. Now you're going to bend those elbows to release the chest. And then you're going to bring 
all the way up to your fingertips and just feel where that stretches differently. Pressing those hips back. Now lower the elbows and up, chest. Good, last one here. Breathe, lower those elbows all the way. As far as you can go, good. Flexing those toes, press up. Now you're gonna take your hands on the inside of that leg and you're gonna send your, you're gonna move this out of the way. You're sending your right leg all the way back. Drag it, lift those hips up, 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 up. Good. So you're all the way up here. Pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Squeeze. Good. Now you're going to crawl into a plank. You're either staying in a high plank with a one leg and you're lifting that back leg or you're coming down onto your knee and lifting your back right leg. 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, press that navel up, three, squeeze, two, and one. Beautiful work. Lower the chest down, bend slow, 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 elbows in, good. And just take a nice gentle up dog. Cobra, lift that chest all the way if you can, if it feels good. Otherwise, come down. Yes. All right, so we're coming on to our left side for our side stretching and inner thigh work. So you're either here all the way up. You can take this stretch just to begin with, just so you can feel that opening up. Everything is tied, so if I have tight outer hips, and I start to feel it in my low back. So we want to keep that nice and lengthened and stretched and open. Good. So now you can come down onto your forearm, turning that top leg out, squeezing this back area, your back glutes, and then you're going to just draw that line, lift it to your max, and then take it up, extend, pulse one more, Yes, and then in front, back, center. Keep lifting, lift, and pulse it. One more, yes. In front, squeeze, back, squeeze, center. Turn that knee out. Extend that leg and pulse it behind that shoulder, good. Even if it's not coming close to your shoulder, I want you to Place the energy behind the shoulder. Good. It's going to help you turn that thigh from the hip, turning it out. Chest presses forward. Lift the leg. Extend it. Pulse. Good. In front. Behind. Center squeeze. Lift, lift, lift. Lift that knee all the way. Extend. And pulse. Breathe. Good. Come on. Let's go. Lift. Extend. Pulse. Front. Back. Center. Squeeze. Draw that line. Yes. Pulse. And lower controlled. Squeeze it. Center. Everything is turned out. Nice and slow, pulse it up, yes. Giving yourself a little active stretch at the very top of your extension. So you extend that leg, and yes. You can even think of at the same time as you're pulsing that leg to pulse your chest forward. Lift, here, and up, yes. Good, squeeze it back, and center. Take it to the side. Front, back, center, lift. All the way. And that's it. Good job. Squeeze. Last one here. All the way. Turn it out. I have pause. Take the knee and toes off the leg. Yes. Extend it. Pulse it. Front, 
back. Beautiful work. From your passe, you're gonna sort of lay onto your belly. So if you're here, in this neutral passe position, I want you to try and think of hiking that knee like we did in the very beginning. You can kind of give yourself some leverage here. If you bring your right arm out, you can push it further up and you can climb that knee up. Good, and then you bring your hands back in line with those shoulders slightly in front, elbows in, good. Press up, breathe for five, four, Good, breathe, breathe, three, two, and lower, one. Beautiful job. Press the chest forward, and then lower, lower, lower. Now you're taking that leg. You're gonna try again with the leverage of that right arm pressing into the floor to lift that knee up and take it back. Good. Now, same thing. You're taking your left arm and lifting it as you lift your right leg back. So 10, nine, eight. I really want both legs fully straight. Seven, long neck, six, five, squeeze it at the top. Hold and squeeze, four. Lift and squeeze, three. Lift and hold, two, good. And lift, hold, one, good. Last one, we're just gonna hold it, hold it. Come on, believe in yourself, you've got this. And now lower it down, both legs together for 10. You can have your hands nice and long. I like them on a soft, diagonal, kind of triangle diamond shape here. Lift it up. Good. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. You know, so often we feel like we're going and moving our energy alone in this world, but we are here today putting our work to the test and we're doing it together. And I love, I love that we're building this community of positivity, strength, and self-love, finding that connection with our body. Um, one of the most important things I do every morning is just waking up and checking in with my body and then deciding what sort of stretches and breathing I'm gonna do, because that helps me. It's sort of like a meditation without being a traditional sort of meditation. Good, hold it, hold it, hold it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, I'm so proud of you all. All right, we're there. We have this one last push, okay? So you're either bringing, alternating arms behind and lifting. And I always try to keep engaging that tricep, bicep. So I want you to bring those elbows in instead of leaving them out. All right, so here we go. We're lifting for 10. Lift and lower. And up and lower. Yes, I feel it. Seven, lower. Six, eye gaze is soft, just in front of you. Three, two, and one, beautiful work, hold it. Ah. Bring those elbows back down. Yes, pull those shoulders down. Now reach those hands behind you, clasp, and then lift the, sh the hands towards your shoulder blades and shoulder blades up. For five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work. Press those hips all the way back. You can open up the knees. Oh, give yourself some love here. I like to go a little on an angle. You can reach both arms toward your left corner, your right corner, and then crawl all the way over to your 
left side, good. Breathe, press those hips away from the palms of your hand, anchoring those palms into the floor, grounding yourself, good. Breathe, awesome work. Now you can come and take those egg weights, your bala bangles off. And you can just come into a nice, gentle, happy baby. All right, so lay down slowly, slowly, good. And then just grab on the inside or outside of those high arches or your arches. And if you can't grab on the inside, then just grab on the outside of your calf muscle or your ankles and just rock it side to side. Good. I also like to just play with, oh my God, I'm just shaking. Uh, keeping my legs straight and then pressing my hips away from my shoulders. And I really feel this, I feel this whole shaking, shaking going on. But it's not like a bad, I don't have any bad sensation. It's just my muscles are really, really working and stretching the backs of those legs and my back, lower back. Ah, beautiful work, everyone. Shake it out, shake it all out. Give yourself a nice great big hug for showing up today and for getting the work done. So I will see you all on Friday for our 15 minute Fit Friday class. Thank you all for joining me for the live Maison Golden Stretch class. Keep them coming, give me some feedback, what you like, what you wanna see more of, and what you may not like. <laughs> all right, have a great day, everyone. Take care. <laughs>